What you need to hear is this is a stupid decision made by a moron, and if you do it, you're going to shorten your life. Sorry! And yeah, I get it. It's his decision, and I've done stupid decisions in the past, but this is more stupider than last time. Coach Greg, today's video, Half Thor is coming. That's right, he's coming. Remember Arnold Schwarzenegger? He's coming in the gym, he's coming at home, he's coming all the time, because lifting weight feels so good. Getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. Well, Half Thor is coming out of retirement. Do you remember why he retired in the first place? It was because of his health. He had abused PDs for years. Guys six foot eight weighed over 200 kilograms. That's over 440 pounds. And during that process, he trained as a boxer for two years. Five Eddie Hall and beat the guy made a ton of money and in that process lost over kilograms over 100 pounds got leaner looked fit and was healthy but the bug it got to him he misses what he used to be able to do and what I've stated before is that steroids although not physically addictive they are mentally addictive and by the time I was competing at the World Series Band competition in 2011 throwing two years uh, later I was 200 plus kilograms. And so think of it, with the use of PDs, the guy was cookbook massive. In his early 20s, he was over 440 pounds. And trust me, as good as HCLT supplements are, you don't get to over 200 kilograms without using performance enhancing drugs. And so he got addicted to the gains, the dopamine from winning all these various titles, championships. He's literally a legend in the sport. Decided to retire because, you know, I won everything that there was to win. And, you know, the main reason why I also retired was, you know, health reasons. And so consider he got lucky he retired at an early age he's 34 right now got out of it in his early 30s had been abusing pd since about the age of 20 why join back now if you were not healthy if your heart was suffering and you retire and go back into it do you not think those same problems are going to happen yet again being big puts a lot of pressure on your heart i want to make sure that i'm going to be there and around for them for a long time. And so he understands it, he gets it. Wife and kids, he knows that the bigger you are, the more strain it places on the heart. Even if he's natural, it's not gonna be easy. When you're six foot eight, well over 300 pounds, it's not easy. And so why go back to powerlifting? To chase the all time world record. Not the drug tested world record, the all time record. And so do you really think he's going to go back natural? That he's only going to be resorting to using ectibuilder, creatine, beta alanine, perhaps GO2 max to improve his cardio? Or do you think he's going to be blasting on anything and everything in order to break the record? But obviously, first and foremost, I had to talk to my coach, my, my wife, my, uh, my, my mentors, a few other important people in my life get their opinion. And so to me, it's an oxymoron. You care about all these other people. Yet, you're choosing to do something that's going to shorten your life. I'm telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. You want to hear, oh, you took two years off boxing. Do everything you want. It won't happen to you. You can blast all the supplements in the world, and you're going to be healthy. Yeah, you're six foot eight. You're going to be over 400 pounds. It's not going to affect your health. What you need to hear is this is a stupid decision made by a moron, and if you do it, you're going to shorten your life. Sorry! And yeah, I get it. It's his decision, and I've done stupid decisions in the past, but this is more stupider than last time. You know, I asked you, shall I got their support, uh, thankfully, and, uh, you know, I made a decision. And so, yeah, I made a decision to shorten his life drastically, to play Russian roulette with his health. Why? Because he's chasing the dopamine of breaking a record. It's not for money. You think there's a bunch of money in powerlifting? Of course not. There's more money in boxing. But boxing was work. Is there really something wrong with working? Is working that bad? I didn't feel the same passion for boxing as I felt for strongman. When I did strongman training, it never felt as a job. Well, some people like recreational drugs more than coffee. Doesn't mean you should use them. And especially at abusive doses, and trust me, he's not going to be doing HRT to set these records. And so even Larry Wheels, Larry Wheels was blasting for years, and what did he decide to do? I'm holding back. He had enough. He said, my health's more important. I'm going on HRT. 
I can't just keep blasting the way I did, or else I won't live very long. I will break the all-time raw palsy world record. 1182 and a half kilograms. And so the all-time record's over 1180 kilograms, over 2,600 pounds. That's a lot. Even with PDs, I'm not sure he can do it. He certainly has a chance. He has the genetics for it. He has pulled 1,100 pounds in the past, but he does have very long arms. In order to get this record, he's going to have to bench over 600 and squat well over 900 pounds, all the while pulling over 1,000. And so maybe he can do it, but maybe not. But to do this, he is going to, without question, have to not only take, but abuse performance-enhancing drugs. And the goal is to do it in the end of the year. Which is crazy, honestly. Oh, and my goal is not just to do it eventually. It's to do it within a year. Really, does that make sense, people? Does that make sense? If he is in fact going to do it, should he not do it in a healthy environment? Try to do it as natural as possible. And so why not make a natural goal? Break the all-time natural record. Use various supplements by Harder Than Last Time. You can actually use these supplements in drug-tested competitions. But no, I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? And so instead, he's opting to go for the all-time record, and he's going to rush in and try to break the record within a year. And so if he's being honest with himself, he's doing this for selfish reasons. Sorry, telling you the truth. When I wanted to be a professional bodybuilder and was abusing PDs, I was doing it for me. I was doing it because I wanted to. I can't say, oh, I asked all my friends and family and they all supported it. Of course they didn't. You really think my parents want me to take performance enhancing drugs? So that's the plan. To be very successful in powerlifting, build my legacy, build my name in the strength world. So does anyone think he actually has to break this record to fulfill his legacy, his name in the strength world? Why not Strongman? Because, you know, most of my fans, you know, are, you know, fault me because of Strongman because I have was the best in strongman and the party of one drive for the thing that I should do. And so why not strongman? Why powerful thing? Well, it's obvious. He's already won strongman. Why would he do it again? He's retired from that. The problem is powerful thing uses just as many drugs as strongman. And so what's another option? What could he do? Well, he could race Coach Greg on Zwift on a bicycle. I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you can find another sport that doesn't involve drugs and get good at that and enjoy doing that for your health, Imagine the difference it can make. And so I haven't competed in over three years and I haven't done powerlifting in over four and I'm a world record holder in powerlifting and a professional bodybuilder. Don't you think it's hard to go from setting world records and competing in professional bodybuildings to just suddenly losing it all? And so why do you think I was able to do that? Because I found a competitive outlet that allows me to train harder than last time and have realistic goals. I'm not trying to break the world record on a bike. I'm not trying to beat Lance Armstrong in a Tour de France. But what I am doing is trying to beat myself and doing so in a healthy environment. And so wouldn't it be amazing if Thor found an activity that he loved, that he could embrace, that was healthy? Yet he chose powerlifting. But I, I decided I wanted to do powerlifting just to prove a point to me and just build my legacy. You know, I want to do it for the love of strength sports. You have all the respect in the world. You've already done it all. You don't need to do this. And so why doesn't he just return and compete natural? I'll tell you why. Because once you use PDs, it's not the same when you train natural. You really think he can enjoy going to the gym and lifting normal weights? You know, like 700 pounds on a squat, 500 pounds on a bench press? No, he was once much stronger than this, over 200 kilograms. And so in comparison, he feels weak. And so he remembers how strong he used to be, how he could eat five to 8,000 calories. He doesn't want to diet. He doesn't want to do cardio. He wants to be strong, thick, the biggest man in the room. He's six foot eight. He's over 300 pounds, probably feels small, perhaps has body dysmorphia. You think you're just going to do one cycle or perhaps just 10 years of cycles. It's never enough. Very hard to stop. And anyone who has been involved in this industry the way I have understands exactly what I'm talking about. It's hard to stop. You think Phil Heath wants to stop? He wants more titles. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's never enough. Then after I break the all time all the world records, I'm going to go back to Strawman. And um, keep my absolute best there again. And it doesn't stop there. You think, okay, I'm going to go back into straw man. I'm going to set this all-time world record. Then I'm going to retire again. Hopefully I can make it out alive. It's only be one more year of drug abuse. Nope, he's then going to go back to strongman. Does that 
make sense. And I know it's hard to say no. It's hard to stop and I get it. You don't think I would want to blast cycle after cycle and get huge? Of course I would, I'd love to. But I think about the health consequences. I think, do I really want to shorten my life by that much? I was lucky to get out when I did. I was much older when I started using PDs. I was just doing a video on a guy, 20 years old, had a heart attack, started using SARMs and steroids, age of 15. Half Thor was a freak as a teenager. Was that the world's strongest man in his early 20s? Abused steroids for years. He's not going to say what he took exactly, cat. But I can tell you, he is not going to set all-time records in powerlifting and go back to straw man while being natural. And no, it's not just HRT prescribed by a doctor. It's blasting everything and anything he can get his hands on. Big announcement, big goals. I'm a big guy with a big heart, big dreams. People, you can't take this lightly. And I know you're all watching this and thinking, yeah, but I want to watch him do it. It's so entertaining. Yeah, we want to see him do this for our own selfish reasons. I want to watch him do it. I'd love to watch him set the all-time record in power thing. I personally want to see it. But I care about his health more than I care about watching him set those records. And so, Half Thor, if you're watching this, reconsider. You don't have to do it. You're already a legend. You don't need to accomplish these goals in order to be a hero to the rest of the world. Your health is more important. And looking back, imagine you're at the age of 40 and you think, oh my goodness, I wish I hadn't done it. If only I'd listened to Coach Greg when I was 34 and not gone for those records. Perhaps I could live to be 60, 70, 80, who knows? Before you leave, take a moment, comment below your thoughts. And so my thoughts are, I don't like it. I don't like that we need to take steroids to be successful in esports. And sorry, it's the truth. He can't be natural and set all time records in powerlifting, be world's strongest man. It's not possible. And so it's sad, wish steroids weren't invented, but since they are, what can we do? We can try to say no, but look how hard it is. Even Half Thor, after winning everything and retiring, having a health scare, he's going to do it again. And so let that be a lesson to you. If you're debating using steroids, don't do it. Go see your doctor, get your blood work, use the lowest doses possible, not being a hypocrite. I made the same mistakes, but will you? Ending it here. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for your algorithm. Please like the video if you like it. Like it now. Watch the bloops. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IFB Pro. Cookbooks, trading books, coaching plans by me and my team. The Circle Diet Book, Harder Than Last Time Supplements, Clothing Line, all that. Click the link in the description. Code Greg, 10% off. And until next time, I am out.